You ready? Live action? Yeah, man. Put up my iPad shield. Welcome back to another video. Today we are, as you can tell in the caption, unboxing the newest colorway of the Chad Muscos. The colorway that I've been excited for since I found out about them. This is the one that I've mentioned is like an odd colorway, but cool colorway. But I want to hurry up and dive into this because I've been holding this box for like, what, about a week or so? Yeah. Yeah. Waited too long to film this video. Let's see. Also, I'm pretty sure my Kragers, the Navy ones, are lost in the mail because they haven't updated since the 16th. Oh, man. Yeah, gotta get a little post office. Which sucks because I ordered like some S gear as well with it. I say so, I ordered a hat, but. Oh, man, this matches. I color coordinated today. Hell yeah. I like that. I, yeah, I love that they like do a decent box with it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's not just a regular red S box, which is fine, but like, it's a nice little touch. crazy so this time I went down to a nine I've ordered a nine and a half and all my other muscas and the way they fit I didn't like them on my foot they looked a little bit big so I figured I would try something different go a little bit down more see how this works we have a vegan friendly shoe no leather no animal products no animal byproducts 100% skatable 100% Animal friendly. Let's dive into this though. <laughs> I want to make a mom joke. Dude, let him rip. Now, it was her birthday yesterday? Yesterday, man. Yeah, that's, I can't. First, let's loosen this puppy up some. Let her breathe. Dude, this, <laughs> this color is sick. This is dope. The laces, like everything about this shoe is just insane. Let's see how it fits though. Let's see if that down to nine was a good idea. Oh, it's a bit snug. Lengthwise. I don't think my pants are baggy enough to do these shoes justice. Honestly, I kind of feel like the 9 was the move. These are like the America OG ones. It feels like where it is hot in this house. So, if somehow you haven't ordered muskets yet, I would probably go down a half size of what you normally order an S. So what I had to do with the OG ones was go all the way down to a 9. Normally I wear like a 9.5 and, and S shoes a 10 in the XL OGs, I had to step all the way down to a 9, which kind of is a buzzkill because, or a bummer, because I have all of my muskas in a 9.5 already, and I definitely don't want to buy another one of any of those because at $150, it's a hard pill to swallow to make a mistake on. So I'm glad I got these in the correct size. I need to go get another pair because I bought doubles in all of them and so I need to buy another one because now that I have one that I can actually wear I probably will wear this one a lot more often but this is it's this is beautiful you know like that iPad how before we started filming I just kept looking at it mm -hmm. like this is like that you know what I mean like that I kept looking at it because it's such a beautiful design shoe you just want to keep admiring all the details and that's how like I feel about this one. Like even just the way the soul feels, I want to just yeah. keep touching it. Like this thing is, it's ins it reminds me of like back in the day when I first started skating and I'd get a skate shoe. I just was so taken away by all the details in it and everything. And it being something completely different from what I was used to. I'm used to like New Balance and Nikes and crap like that when I was a kid. And then getting into skateboarding and you see something specifically designed for just that. 
I would just sit there and stare at it forever and take in every little detail that I possibly could. And that's like, this brings me back to that. And that's why like, I love that skate companies are going back, doing reissues of OG shoes and stuff like that because there's a lot of the ones that I didn't get and I didn't get to actually like experience how cool they looked and check out all the details. But now I can, but also creates an issue because if all we're wanting is OG reissues, where does the company go from there? Yeah. Eventually they got to step out and create new, better designs. But that's the thing. Like what company is making new shoes that have the same essence as OG shoes? These were amazing because of what they were, like every little detail poured into them and everything. And so now the only thing that companies can do is create something that has as much detail, but be fresh, I guess. And then they could actually, you know, still move on because Silence your phones before the movie. Sorry, man. Yeah. I personally think it's going to take skate shoe companies stepping back and realizing how well OG reissues are doing for them to actually be comfortable enough to create a new shoe that has the same tooling and stuff like that as the originals. That way they can actually move forward because right now I don't know of any new shoes out that are that good. Like, there's not really any many, there's not many shoes that are brand new from a company where I'm like, fuck yeah, that's tight. This one, but again, yeah. has an OG soul. So, you know, it's not 100%. That's what, that, you know, like I explained in the video, I wish they gave him the option to create his own new soul because what if, you know, what could have came with this shoe? Could have been leaps and bounds better, could have, you know, made the whole shoe terrible. Right. Who knows? We'll never know. But, like, this whole upper is loaded with details. It's all new shit. Yeah. It's new and full of details. Mm -hmm. Granted, it's thick and everything like an OG shoe. So, it's it's everything that an OG shoe is without being OG. And so, you know, granted, later on down the line, 20 years from now, they'll probably be doing reissues of this shoe. And people are going to be stoked, you know, like kids that are 19 now in 20 years. They'll be, what, yeah. 39? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, so they'll be fucking stoked, you know? But yeah, this one, they did it. But, I don't know. There is, maybe DC is the only one that's onto it, because... But there's always going to be attention on that soul instead of just yeah. Shanahan. Yeah, it's like Shanahan had his own shoe. Well, he had his own upper, you yeah. know? That's, that's yeah. going to be the thought process. So, but, you know, mentioning that, what brands are creating new designs that feel like OGs? Um, DC does have a Lucian Clark shoe coming out. I'll try to get you a screenshot of it, but I don't know if I can for sure. But he has a shoe coming out, and I just saw that him and Jameer Brown are in Europe filming for something. So that's probably the drop for that shoe. Nice. But that is a shoe that is, it's loaded with details. Looks good. And S, God bless their hearts, I love them, but like every other shoe they create that's not an OG shoe is kind of more or less boring in my opinion because it's a very cheap basic looking shoe they're not necessarily doing it i don't know of any other brands really like when it comes when i think about like skate shoe brands that are relevant right now to me dc and s slightly america are like the only ones that come to mind which is sad you had osiris dvs all the brands ipath which they're coming back but that all i've seen is og reissues so they're not creating new fresh product you know what in all honesty if they just kept reissuing og shoes perfectly happy it's like nike if you think about them nike reissues air maxes all the jordans in the fucking world they right. you know they reissue all their stuff that they've created 30 plus years ago and they like almost solely exist off of that they create new product all the time but i never like anything new that they have there's like you know once in a blue moon but like any new jordan shoe doesn't do it for me i only like the old ones yeah. but i still know of jordan brand i still keep an eye on jordan brand because they're just constantly turning out reissues so skate shoe companies could do the same thing but it's just nice to see them create something new that's just as fresh i want to see that and i don't know if any skate shoe companies watching this hope you take it as a challenge 
I hope you see this video and you think like, fuck, let's create something that not necessarily I will think is fucking dope, but everybody, you know what I mean? Right. Like that's how it should be. That's how it was back then when these were all, when all these were coming out, they were all created solely for the purpose of just creating something badass that people would think was amazing. Yeah. And that's what's lost nowadays. It's more or less just now create something that you can skate in, not something that you want to skate in. You know what I mean? Like this, when I picked this up and I was sitting there staring at it, just this whole toe panel. And I look at that and I like, I even like, I haven't skated in a little bit, but I was like, I want to skate this shoe because I bet you this thing skates so good. You know, like that's the thing, like bring back the beauty of skate shoes. So if you guys happen to know of a new model shoe that kind of is like this or something, something that's hot, I don't want to say that. Something that's hot. What am I, fucking Paris Hilton? <laughs> but if you guys know of a new shoe that is out that is a great shoe, let us know in the comments because it might be something that I don't know about. It might be something that other people watching this video don't know about. And it's good to kind of just share information. These are still out and about in some places. Muska has signed versions for $222, which I kind of, I kind of wanted to buy, honestly, but the only one I actually wanted of the Muskas that were signed was the red and black pair. I don't know why I like that one a lot, but it's not too late for you to get a pair of these. Just get out and look around. You'll see them out and about. Definitely do. This colorway is sick and I'm probably going to keep looking at this for like the next few days. Glad I finally opened this thing. Holy shit. Yeah. I've had it forever. One thing though, I can't use these in there because it does fit like perfectly with it being a nine. So that kind of sucks, but I might shove some in there and see how it fits anyways one day. But guys, that's it for this video. Enough of me talking. Get out, go buy yourself some Moscos. Look for S discount codes. They usually always have some floating around. You can always get like a 20 or 30% off or something like that, which will really help with the $150 shoe. Again, guys, thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and tuning in to hearing me ramble and Brandon sit in the background <laughs> and also ramble a little bit here and there. Every now and then. Yeah. We'll, we'll catch you guys next time, man. Peace out. Again, thank you guys.